Well, Steve, right now, district leaders and board staff, they're huddled up behind me at district headquarters going over two very important topics. One being student reassignment changes that may be on the way and two, a staffing shortage. Inside this room, Wake staffers are hammering away at two ever important topics that affect parents, students, and staff. One being proposed student reassignment changes that could have an impact on where your child attends school soon. And two, the district wide staffing shortage. We have teachers who are qualified um, seeking other states, moving to other areas um, because of um, the wages being so low. Mike Figueres is a parent organizer and has been closely tracking the developments out of the district. He says Wake County Schools does not deserve all of the blame. I believe um, it all um, starts at, the, at Jones Street, <laughs> at the NCGA. I think it starts from the top. I mean, we have to prioritize uh, North Carolina's future uh, more than casinos and things of that nature. According to Wake Schools, there are 252 open teacher positions, 129 instructional assistant openings, and 316 vacancies for bus drivers across the district. And it comes as Wake School leaders have student reassignment plans in the works. In addition to, per to operate with at least nine schools slated to open by the 2030-2031 school year. But again, if the funding isn't there, I don't see, I, I, I don't see the, the importance and the emphasis, right, on North Carolina, on the future of public schools. And it is important to note that the current number of open teacher vacancies only represents a, a slim majority, or excuse me, a slim minority, that is, of the overall uh, teachers that are currently working within the district. We'll have someone monitoring this for you and bring you live updates throughout the evening. We're live in Cary tonight. Dewan Hogarth, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.